can I now officially welcome you uh, here to Kenmore Kirk. We're here to celebrate a little bit of history that is quite well known locally, though some people know more of the story than others. Uh, but it's lovely to be able to welcome people from a, a long way away, some of you from England. I believe there are some people from India here today as well. And it's lovely to be able to welcome you here today to celebrate the restoring of a stone which has been here for such a long time, but for such a long time nobody could read what it said and nobody really understood its significance to the Sikh community. And so we're, it's lovely to have you here today to celebrate and just to take a little bit of time to reflect. I'm very grateful to Carpenter here for organising everything and uh, I think he has some words that he would like to say. Thank you. Um, it's a pleasure to be here and thank you for your kind welcome. I just want to borrow a few words from a Sikh scholar who has whose actual day job actually is as an ambassador but who has developed a passion for the story of Duleep Singh. And in his book, The Exile, there's an epilogue which I'm going to use to illustrate the strength and potency of what we are witnessing here today. He writes, but there he lies in a grave, in a cold, wet land, far away from his people. Sometimes there is a flower on his grave, or even a fading bouquet, but mostly there are only brown fallen leaves that rustle in the wind, and his memory will fade. Perhaps this too was written, or perhaps there was an imperial design. After all, it is known that Queen Victoria encouraged the wife of his brother never to have children. Perhaps our Punjab will only be left with the memory of a Maharaja in exile, only with a story to be told around winter bonfires. I think today's gathering demonstrates that this story is very much alive. It is not going to be ascribed to the annals of history and neglected. The story of this infant and his family and their kingdom is at the very heart of the existence of the Sikh community that is proud to be a part of Britain and of Scotland today. So thank you all for being here today. Uh, we're going to have a brief uh, ceremony of, of uh, laying of some wreaths and then we hope after the lament you'll join us back at Kenmore for some refreshments. Thank you for coming.